والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله بعد ذلك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and some brothers and sisters are asking us whether they can fast these upcoming two months. There's permission for those who want to fast. It's a good, beautiful custom. It's the sunnah of our Holy Prophet some fasted all, some fast some of it, but those who want to can do it. And days are not too long or too short, they're medium length. The weather is not too hot or too cold, so it's appropriate and good times to fast. However, what is more important of a matter is now, those who are born as Muslims then reach puberty and do not fast. Their Ramadan fasting, there are some who do not. They need to make it up. But before they make it up, there is the kafara, penance, redemption, fasting. That is done one time. Even if a person has not fasted all their life, the kafara, penance, is for two months straight, without a gap. For men. For ladies, uh, it's different. They have their own excuses out of necessity. They have to give a break. So it is 60 days without giving a break. Some months are 29, some months are 30, but after the 60 is done, then you start the makeup, qada fasting. So you could do this slowly, you don't have to do it all at once, the makeup ones. People can make the makeup all together or one by one as they like, whenever they like. But what is important is the kafara, penance, redemption. That needs to be done two months straight and within these coming three holy months, one can do that. That is more important. If you make the intention for the kafara redemption, then you gain more rewards for it. For those who would like to start, Rajab enters on Saturday, and until Ramadan, it might be 59 or 60 days, we're not sure. Therefore, it's best to start either tomorrow or the day after if they are going to do the kafara penance fasting so they can complete the 60 days before Ramadan. Ramadan is far obligatory. It doesn't count as kafara or qada, penance or redemption and makeup. This is for those who are Muslim. For those who became Muslim later, there is no kafara for them because when they become Muslim, all their past sins are forgiven and they are responsible for their worships from that point on. They're not responsible for the past. Yet they, if they, after becoming Muslim, also don't fast a day of Ramadan, then they have to do the kafara as well. So whatever they don't fast in Ramadan after becoming Muslim, they're responsible for it with the kafara. But whatever is before that, there is no kafara. 
Even if they don't fast for one day, there's a kafara penance for it. If you don't, if you didn't fast for 100 days, again the kafara is the same, 60 days. But following the kafara, if they don't fast the obligatory again, again they have to do the kafara penance. So, these three months are an opportunity for those who would like to fast. You make the intention to fast these coming holy three months as the kafara, and you'd be getting the rewards for that and for the sacredness of the months, the two upcoming months. And it would be counted as having obeyed the law and made it up. And that is a great reward. May Allah accept it. May we be successful and may it be blessed with barakah.